Hey guys, I am sorry I could not be with you guys today. I have to be in a meeting, but I did want to give you the reminders and go over one of the assignments for today um, so that you guys wouldn't be missing out or getting behind. Um, your bell ringer question today said, which type of cells are created through mitosis? And then what about meiosis? So I told you guys to remember that my toe is part of my body. So mitosis creates your body cells and meiosis creates the other cells, which are your sex cells, so egg and sperm. Okay, so make sure you write that down under your bell ringer for today. Your reminders for today, um, there are two activities we're gonna do. I'm gonna do the first one with you, and then you'll do the second one on your own. So um, we're gonna do a mitosis and meiosis Venn diagram so that you guys can compare the two and see um, the similarities and the differences between them. And then you're going to do a matching activity in Google Classroom where it's kind of like a drag and drop where you drag um, different answers and descriptions for each process over under the correct category, whether it's describing mitosis or meiosis. Um, your reproduction vocabulary is due this week. You guys have had it for 10 days. This vocab is due this Thursday. Okay, so make sure you have it in by this Thursday. If you've lost your copy, there's extra copies under the Classwork tab in Google Classroom. Um, because your vocab is due on Thursday, you know, anytime vocab is due, you're going to have some type of assessment. So your quiz on reproduction is going to be on Thursday as well. Um, your weekly ed puzzle is due on Friday. All right, so you have this in your, in your packet, but I don't want you guys to do it in your packet um, since I'm not there with you. Instead, I've given you a virtual copy. Um, so if you go under the Classwork tab and open up the assignment that says Mitosis and Meiosis Venn Diagram, you'll see something like this. So it, it has your two bubbles for Mitosis and Meiosis. That's where your differences go. And then here in the middle are our similarities, okay? Over to the side, you'll see a word bank. I didn't want you guys to have to go into this without having a word bank or something to guide you. So make sure you're pulling from these terms over here and you'll only use each term once unless there are these bottom ones right here where it says 46, you'll use six times, 92, you'll use twice, and 23, you'll use four times. And we're gonna use those numbers when we talk about the amount of chromosomes um, that are occurring within the cells through the different processes of mitosis and meiosis, okay? So if you go in present mode, I just wanna show you, the word bank goes away, okay? So if you wanna keep your word bank there, you gotta keep it out of present mode so that you can see it off to the side there. So while I'm recording this for you guys, I'm gonna keep it out of present mode just so we can see our word bank and put information in. So we're gonna start with mitosis. You guys, in the bell ringer today, it asked you what type of cells mitosis makes, and it makes body cells. So skin cells, heart cells, liver cells, all of those types of cells from any part of the body are gonna be created in mitosis, okay? So we are going to get rid of body cells over here. And I think I'm just gonna do a strike through maybe, if I can remember how to do that. JK, I'm just gonna highlight it because I already did it. I'm gonna highlight it in red so I know not to use it again. All right, so the next part of mitosis, it says it makes cells with blank of the DNA. So you start with one parent cell, it has to copy everything, and then it splits into two cells. So think about it, those two cells, are they exactly the same as the parent cell? If they are, it's gonna have all of the same DNA. If they're not the same as the parent cell, and it's, then it might only have half the amount of DNA. So the good way to remember it is since mitosis make body cells, think about the example I gave where if you fall off your bike or you scrape up your arm somehow, you don't live with that bloody scrape for the rest of your life, right? Your skin cells make copies of themselves and they're exact copies. So however many chromosomes are in that one starting cell, that's how many chromosomes are gonna be in the copy of it, okay? So in mitosis, it's gonna make cells with all of the DNA. So however much DNA or whatever was in the DNA for the parent cell is also gonna be in for the cell that is created from it. So let's go down here and find all. I'm gonna highlight it in red since we've typed it in now. 
Okay, and then here it just gave you a little note. Humans have 46 chromosomes. So every single cell in our bodies has 46 chromosomes. 23 of them came from mom. 23 of them came from dad to make up that grand total of 46, okay? All right, so the next part, mitosis happens in all of your body, right? We've, we've been sending that information home. Definitely the body cells that this is occurring in. Um, so here's body written again. So let's get that one out of the way. And then, so we have happens in all of the body and in all tissues. So we know cells make up tissues. So if it's happening in all of our body cells, it's also going to be happening in tissues. Here we go. So now we have to give an example of mitosis, um, particularly we're saying it's within a human. So we'll start with a human cell in mitosis. We'll just say it's a skin cell. Um, and every single cell has 46 chromosomes. All right, so we're starting our little cell off here with 46 chromosomes. In order for that cell to make a, um, a copy of itself and split into two, it's got to double those chromosomes. So when it makes a copy of itself, yes, it copies everything within the cell, and that includes the amount of chromosomes. So if you have 46 chromosomes, it copies that. So 46 times 2 equals 92. So now the cell has 92 chromosomes. It's copied everything, and it's ready to split into two exact copies. So if these two cells are going to be exact copies of the parent cell, it's going to have 46 chromosomes as well. So both of these two daughter cells have 46 chromosomes, okay? So that's the process of mitosis. I'm going to go ahead over here. We use three number 46s, so I'm going to put that we have three left. And we used a 92, so we have one of those left. There we go. Okay, so let's hop on over to meiosis instead of doing our similarities. Meiosis makes what type of cells? Well, if mitosis is body cells, meiosis is going to be your sex cells. Okay, so you're going to want to put the word sex in that blank, and we'll go ahead and highlight it in red over here. Now, the two sex cells that we talk about, there's a female sex cell and a male sex cell. So the female sex cell is egg, right? And then the male sex cell is sperm. So we have that it makes sex cells, egg, and sperm. Good way to remember that meiosis is the process that does that is the E in meiosis for egg and the S for sperm. Okay? So it's a good way to remember that. So let's go ahead and cross out sperm, and then we'll cross out egg. All right. So in meiosis, when we start with our parent cell, it copies it divides, and then it divides again. So the whole point of meiosis is to make, to make diverse cells. So your sex cell, um, which could be an egg, or the sex cell, which could be a sperm. Both of those two cells are going to be diverse. They are not going to be the same as the parent cell. Okay, that parent cell started with 46 chromosomes, but because it splits and divides down twice, instead of it ending in 46 chromosomes, it's going to divide down again and end in 23 chromosomes, right? So in meiosis, we know that our DNA divides twice. It doesn't just divide that one time like we saw here with mitosis. Instead, when you look over here, it divides two different times. So let's go ahead and cross out twice. All right, so it makes cells with blank of the parent DNA. Well, if you start with a cell that has 46 chromosomes, duplicates to 92, splits to 46, and splits again to 23. If there are 23 chromosomes in these four cells, is that the same as the parent cell with 46 chromosomes? It's not, right? It's half the number of chromosomes, so it's not an exact copy here. Um, so instead of these four cells ending up with all of the DNA from the parent, it's only ending up with half of it ending up with those 23 chromosomes. So in this blank, it makes cells with half of the parent DNA. So let's get rid of half over here. All right, this allows for what type of reproduction? Well, the whole point of meiosis is to make our sex cells, which allow us as a species um, to reproduce. So the whole point of this is to allow for sexual reproduction. Without egg and sperm, we would not be able to reproduce sexually. Okay, so that is a, a big deal for the, the point of meiosis. All right, 
this happens in blank tissues. Okay, so we said that our mitosis happens in body cells and in all types of tissue, but you have to have a specialized type of tissue for meiosis. It's not just any type of body tissue. So I'm going to put specialized there. I'm going to move this up a little bit. There we go. So let's get rid of specialized. There we go. Okay. So now let's do our example here. Your, your cell, your parent cell starts with 46 chromosomes, has to copy itself, so doubles to 92, and then splits back down to 46, just like we saw with mitosis, except for meiosis splits again. So half of 46 is 23. So all of these four daughter cells that are created have 23 chromosomes, which is half the number of the parent cell, okay? And that's an extra word there, so I'm going to get rid of that. There we go. All right, so now we have officially used all of our numbers here. So now we got three words left. Those three words are obviously going to go in the center for our similarities. So a similarity that these two processes have together, it is blank reproduction, meaning you start with one parent cell and it's duplicating itself. That's going to be asexual reproduction. Yes, meiosis allows for sexual reproduction, but the process of creating those sex cells is asexual. Okay, so make sure you cross that off over here. And then we have, it's involved in blank type of reproduction. So this is gonna be cellular. It's involved in cellular reproduction. This is not reproduction of people, of dogs, of cats. This is reproduction of the cells within us, okay? So this is a form of cellular reproduction, both mitosis and meiosis. And then they both have in common that in the process that they end up copying the DNA. So whenever you see that 92 chromosomes, that's when everything was duplicated and copied because all the DNA is found on the chromosomes, okay? So there you go. There are your answers for your Venn diagram. I'm going to make it really big. And if you guys want to pause the video here um, so that you can write this down or you may have been quick enough and have gotten it already, which is great. Okay, so this was the first part of what I wanted you guys to get accomplished today. The next part is something I want you working on on your own. Okay, so I'm not going to help you with this one. I need you to work on it on your own. Um, I'll show you what it is real quick. Well, let's look at today's presentation, but it's on there. Okay, so right here. Here's what you're doing for the second part of class. You are matching the descriptions to the category of either mitosis or meiosis. You absolutely can use your notes or anything we've done in class. I want you to use your resources, okay? Um, but I've given you, here's your possible options. Once again, I'm giving you kind of like a word bank since this is new material. Um, and what I want you to do is you can go to the slide that has the options. You can copy the little cutout and then paste it in the box where it goes. Okay. Kind of like a drag and drop. So the categories are creates. So you have to tell me what mitosis creates, what meiosis creates, their definition, the product, so what comes out of each process, what type of reproduction it is, um, is the cell created identical to the parent cell, how many times does the cell divide, at the end, how many chromosomes are we going to see, why is each of these processes important, and then the number of chromosomes human body and human sex cells have after they go through each process. Okay, so these are all your answer choices over here that you're just going to cut and paste in the correct box. All right, um, I want you guys to try your best and probably towards the end of class, I will post an answer key in Google Classroom for you to check your work. I do not want you wasting your time and waiting for the answer key though. I want you to try and do your best. And it's okay if you get some wrong, um, but when the answer key posts, I'll probably post around 930, I want you guys to make sure yours match mine and then you can turn it in in Google Classroom. If you have extra time since the bell rings at 946, you need to be working on reproduction vocab. 
which is due Thursday, um, or working on your Ed Puzzle this due Friday. All right? Awesome. Thank you guys. If you have any questions, email me, and I will try to get back to you.